Imagine a lighthouse, standing alone on a remote island, its light a beacon of hope in the stormy sea. Now, imagine that light suddenly extinguishing, and the keepers of that light mysteriously disappearing without a trace. Our tale begins in the year 1900, at the Flannan Isles Lighthouse, a lonely outpost on Eileen Moor, off the west coast of Scotland. This beacon of light, named after St. Flannan, was a vital point of navigation for mariners braving the tumultuous North Atlantic. The keepers of this light were James Duckett, Thomas Marshall and Donald MacArthur, three seasoned lighthouse keepers, entrusted with the responsibility of guiding ships safely through the perilous waters. In December of that year, a chilling event occurred that would etch the Flannan Isles lighthouse into the annals of maritime mystery. The three keepers, Duckett, Marshall and MacArthur, disappeared without a trace. The last log entry was made on December 13, with evidence suggesting that the men vanished two days later during a bout of bad weather. The lighthouse, once a symbol of safety and guidance, was discovered deserted. The island was found in disarray with no trace of the keepers. It was as if they had been plucked from existence leaving behind a chilling void in their wake. The men were officially declared dead by drowning but the circumstances of their disappearance remained shrouded in mystery. Imagine being in their shoes, the relentless sea battering against the lighthouse, the wind howling like a beast in the night, and then, nothing. No trace, no explanation, just an eerie silence where once there was life. The Flannan Isles Lighthouse, once a beacon of hope, became a monument to an unsolved mystery. The disappearance of these three men sparked a whirlwind of speculation and theories. Some suggested they were swept into the sea by a rogue wave, others pointed to supernatural explanations, and some even hinted at foul play among the keepers themselves. But despite the myriad of theories and extensive investigations, no conclusive evidence has ever been found to explain their sudden departure. This is the story of the Flannan Isles lighthouse keepers, who vanished into thin air, their fate still shrouded in mystery more than a century later. On a chilly December day, a relief ship approached the Flannan Isles lighthouse expecting to find the three keepers, Instead they found an eerie silence. As the crew disembarked, they were met with a sight that sent chills down their spines. The lighthouse once a beacon of safety and guidance stood empty, an abandoned shell on the desolate isle. The keepers James Duckett, Thomas Marshall and Donald MacArthur were nowhere to be found. Inside they discovered a scene that seemed to echo the strange silence outside. Uneaten meals lay on the table, as if the keepers had been interrupted mid-bite, a chair was overturned hinting at a sudden frantic departure, but the most unsettling discovery was yet to come. In the keeper's quarters their oilskins, heavy waterproof garments vital for weathering the harsh Scottish storms, were missing. This was an ominous sign. The keepers were experienced mariners, well aware of the dangers of the sea. They wouldn't have ventured out without their oilskins, especially not in the unpredictable December weather. The mystery deepened as they examined the log entries, the last vestiges of the keeper's presence. The final entries spoke of severe winds, the likes of which they had never seen before. But here's where things get even more perplexing. Weather reports from that fateful day painted a different picture. There were no storms reported in the area, contradicting the log's chilling testament. This baffling inconsistency between the log entries and the actual weather reports added another layer to the enigma. What could have driven these seasoned lighthouse keepers to write about a storm that didn't exist? Or was there something else at play? Something that defied logical explanation? And so, the stage was set for one of the most enduring maritime mysteries in history. With the lighthouse keepers missing and the island in disarray, the authorities were called in to investigate. The investigation into the disappearance of James Duckett, Thomas Marshall and Donald MacArthur, was as puzzling as the event itself. The official conclusion was that a rogue wave had swept them into the unforgiving sea. But, as with any good mystery, the official explanation was riddled with inconsistencies and gaps that begged for further inquiry. The last log entry, dated December 13, indicated relatively calm weather, but a chilling final note mentioned severe winds, contradicting the weather reports of the day. This was one of the many perplexing details that the investigators had to grapple with. The state of the lighthouse was another conundrum. The island was found in disarray, signs of a hasty departure perhaps. But why would seasoned lighthouse keepers, who were well versed with the sea's temperaments, abandon their post in such a hurry? 
The investigators also had to consider the human element. Could there have been foul play among the keepers, as some speculated? Or was it a tragic accident, a consequence of the severe storm that the last log entry mentioned? The authorities conducted extensive searches hoping to find some trace of the men, but the sea offered no clues. In the end, the men were officially declared dead by drowning, but questions lingered. The truth of what happened to the keepers of the Flannan Isles lighthouse remained shrouded in uncertainty. Despite their best efforts the investigators could not definitively answer what happened to the lighthouse keepers. In the absence of hard facts, theories abound, ranging from the plausible to the downright absurd. Such is the case with the disappearance of our three lighthouse keepers, where the lack of tangible evidence has left us with a void filled by speculation and conjecture. One of the more grounded theories leans on the side of a tragic accident. The conclusion of the initial investigation in fact, suggested that the men were likely swept away by a massive wave during a storm. This theory, while plausible, does raise some questions. For instance, why would all three experienced keepers venture out in such hazardous conditions? Then there's the theory of foul play. Some wonder if tensions could have escalated among the men, leading to a violent confrontation. The disarray found on the island might lend some credence to this idea. Yet, wouldn't there be more evidence of a struggle? And wouldn't one man have survived, to tell the tale? Psychological factors have also been suggested. The isolation and monotony of lighthouse life could have driven one or all of the men to despair, leading them to abandon their post out at sea. But again, why would all three men be affected simultaneously? The more outlandish theories delve into the realm of the supernatural and the extraterrestrial. Could the men have been spirited away by otherworldly forces or even abducted by aliens? These ideas, while thrilling to contemplate, lack any substantial evidence to support them. But that's the beauty of a mystery, isn't it? The unanswered questions, the myriad possibilities. Each theory, as fascinating as it is, only adds to the enigma of the Flannan Isles Lighthouse Keepers. More than a century later the fate of the Flannan Isles Lighthouse Keepers continues to captivate the imagination of mystery enthusiasts worldwide. The haunting tale of James Duckett, Thomas Marshall and Donald MacArthur, three men who seemingly vanished into thin air, has left an indelible mark on society. The mystery has seeped into our collective consciousness, its tendrils weaving their way into the fabric of popular culture. The enigma surrounding the Keeper's disappearance has served as fertile ground for the creative arts. It has inspired countless works of literature, adding a chilling note to the annals of maritime folklore. The lighthouse standing silent and alone against the backdrop of the unforgiving sea has become a potent symbol of isolation and the unknowable depths of the human psyche. Moreover, the mystery has not only found its way into the pages of books, but also the silver screen. The 2018 film, the Vanishing is a testament to the enduring intrigue of the Flannan Isles incident. The movie is a vivid exploration of the human condition, the power of nature, and the unyielding grip of the unknown. It brings to life the eerie desolation of the island, the mounting dread and the inexplicable absence of the three men. Yet, what is it about this mystery that continues to fascinate and baffle us? Perhaps it's the allure of the unsolved, the tantalizing promise of a puzzle that defies explanation. Or maybe it's the universal fear of the unknown, the haunting possibility that we, like the Keepers, could one day vanish without a trace. The Flannan Isles Lighthouse stands as a stark reminder of our insignificance against the might of the natural world and the enigmatic forces that govern our existence. In the end, the only certainty is the enduring allure of the unknown, the unsolvable puzzle of the Flannan Isles Lighthouse Keepers forever lost to the sea.